So people, it is the next opportunity to fix this E46. So today, I'm going to be accessing the throttle body because I have a feeling it's going to be stuck and I don't really intend on buying a new one. So I'm going to try and access it and then clean it up and see if that fixes it. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Let's get straight into it. Now, this is my assumption. So airbox have to come off, which comes down here to these pipes. Now, the throttle body is just under here. Now, I think the idle control valve is in here, then it's behind that. So it's a bit further in. You have to move a few wires, maybe a couple pipes just to get access to it. I think that should be a lot. So I'm going to get this off. I'm going to show you exactly how to get this off, exactly how to get access to it. Let's go. Now, this airbox is held on by supposedly two. I only have one, but there is supposed to be two. Then it connects here. So you have to unclip this, take these two out, unclip it from here, this Jubilee clip, and then it should just pull all the way out. So now the airbox is off. Unplug the math sensor here. Then on this pipe, there is two Jubilee clips here. You'll have to undo them. I'll take this pipe off. Now once that's off, this is your next pipe. Now just in here, you be able, might be able to see it, you might not. There is a Jubilee clip. Now it's pretty difficult to access because I'm gonna have to go down here to get to the top of the bolt well the nut to screw it in so it's a bit of a fiddly job but it is there at the back you just have to find it that is an absolute nightmare to get off it took me quite a while to get this jubilee out but this clip up here is an absolute nightmare it's not a job for people with no patience so what i've done is i've taken this out the i think it's called a disa disa valve or air adjustment unit taking that out to give me more access then i'm going to take this bracket off here which is all going to have to come off anyway then i can access the rest of it and hopefully get this horrible clip off because it obviously hasn't been touched in 24 years so it's a bit on there so we're going to get to doing that now all the best taking that off that was an absolute absolute nightmare that probably took me 20 minutes alone god right on to the next pits so next we're going to take the idle control valve out this if you've taken these bolts out the brackets this should as it's pretty loose just wiggle out so you gotta come forward and out and then we're going to try and get the throttle body out if we can't clean it from here so this is the throttle body idle control valve is here take this out it'll give you more access and then if we can't clean it as it is we'll take it out and we'll clean it then. So there's your auto control valve. It does clip in there. There's a, a line on it. So you just have to give it a quick pull this way and it should pop straight out. And there's your throttle body exposed. There you have it, throttle body is off. There is four 10 mils obviously here, long 10 mils. Just take them out, give it a good wiggle because it's a bit difficult. This plug, I couldn't figure out at first, but it is just a twist off, obviously lefty loosey. Twist that off and as you can see, there is quite a bit of a build up inside there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give that a clean and hopefully this sorts. I think it's sticking, I think that's what that is. I think it's sticking inside there. So that's what I hope it is anyway. So once I've cleaned this up, I'm going to get it back in and hope to God that that fixes this. If not, it'll be a new one of these, I reckon. People, just like that, we are back. I've cleaned all inside here. So what I did is I took those two... Got my handshake. Took those two Phillips out and that flap there. As you can see, if I can do it. That was kind of stuck, so I'm hoping it is that. That will move quite freely now because I've cleared all the carbon off the side and soot and everything, so take them two out this will slide out of this and you can access the around i'll clean this and this as well just to make sure so it's time to get this back in fitted up and tested so fingers crossed this works Now 
now the throttle body's back in obviously don't forget to plug it in and also attach the cable it's an electric hybrid sort of thing so especially on these they are cable and electric which is weird they only did it on the 323s and the 328s i'm pretty sure so yeah if you have got this make sure you connect that cable and then obviously it will connect up here onto here afterwards so cable electrics four bolts you're all good now it's time for the idle control valve So now that piece is back on. So you got this pipe, idle control valve in there, brackets are on, cables at the back, plugged in. Don't forget to plug in your idle control valve. Now it's time to put this pipe back on and then the air box, and then we're gonna test it out. And sorry, don't forget your air control unit. people there you have it everything is now fitted up connected and surprisingly no bolts left of which is also a bonus right so then people it is the moment of truth again let's see if this works i'm praying to god if there is a god this will work So people, that did not work, obviously. So what I've done is I brought a new throttle body. So I'm praying to God that this is actually the issue with the car because I don't, I still don't know. I still do not know if this is a problem, but we're gonna do everything we've just done. Again, get everything out, put this new throttle body in and pray to God that it hasn't fried the ECU because I did talk to one of the lads at work who is quite an E46 fanatic. He knows quite a lot about them. He says in the past, Throttle bodies have fried the ECU in the past because it just messes everything up. So I'm praying that isn't done. Well, broke. And this throttle body is going to fix it. So let's get to it. Let's get this new one in. take as long as the first one today because i knew exactly what i was doing so it only actually took me about 30 minutes because it wasn't too bad right let's put that on right let it warm up i've actually just took it for a little test drive and it's definitely better so before i couldn't get it past 60 and it was spluttering everywhere i went now i can actually get it above 50 it can go to whatever i want so i can drive this car every day if i wanted to really but if i show you exactly what it's doing with the revs now So that is what it sounds like, but it's actually worse when it's driving. When you're driving normally and you dip your clutch, it will rev up and down from about one and a half down to about 800, and it will kind of just splutter up and down like it's surging almost. So what I'm gonna do 
is I'm pretty sure that throttle body has fixed the issue we've had, but the MAF sensor, I think, is damaged. So I've ordered a MAF sensor. That's going to be installed. That's like a two-minute job at best. But I have got some modifications for this car that I want to be putting on. So that is going to be it for this video. In the next video, we are going to be doing some modifications, and we're not going to be rectifying this because I think that's going to be the one that sorts it, if I'm being honest. Uh, I hope it is. Anyway, so... In the next video, we're going to be doing some modifications, so make sure to subscribe to the channel, stay tuned for more videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one.